Hello there guys and welcome to our 13th Java game programming tutorial. Today's tutorial we're gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and define the um, run function which will basically be the, the main game loop uh, once we hit the start once we call the start function. So um, if you guys didn't watch the previous tutorials I suggest you go ahead and do that as those will be necessary for you to watch in order to proceed with this one as you must uh, you basically need to watch those in order to have uh, all the code you see uh, in front of you in this video so uh, and so we will try to keep this tutorial as short as possible it shouldn't take that long to define this uh, this function so uh, stick with uh, so please go ahead and uh, you know uh, you can go ahead and uh, if you didn't watch the previous videos go ahead and watch those and if you did and you already have all the code uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and get started quickly and go over it as quickly and uh, try to do it in as, as less time as possible. So let's start by putting a comment here. So we're gonna say um, here uh, that this would be the event. So this would be the the run. This is the game loop. Let me just call it game loop. I'm gonna get and type public void run and here let's put a comment and I'm gonna say um, I want to get get the current uh, base I'm gonna I want to get the current thread. To do that I would just declare a thread here. I'm gonna call it thread and set that equal to thread and so thread dot current thread okay so let's go ahead and get rid of this guy here type thread and I'm gonna call it thread. Now you should have the same name, so let me just let's go ahead. The reason we're getting uh, well, let me just call it thread. But the reason we see an underline thread is because I have a Z here, which just shouldn't be there. So I'm gonna call the thread thread. Next, we're gonna have a while loop here and put a comment here and say the loops uh, the loop uh, continues as long as the thread well the current thread that we basically uh, obtained up here um, is still alive so if that thread is alive the loop will keep going so we want this to be the thread equals basically the game loop So what this means is basically as long as the user hits start and he hasn't hit any other anything else basically stop or something like that, then we can go ahead and play that. The reason we're getting underlined here red is because I misspelled thread up here. Should be an R there. And there we go. And inside here let's have it try and catch. Let me put the catch down here. And what we're gonna catch here is interrupt exception I'm gonna call it E so if we do get an uh, an error here or basically an interrupt what we want to do is let me just go ahead and print the stack trace so we can see uh, exactly where the memories uh, where where things went wrong inside the try statement here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let me put a comment so I'm gonna call uh, update the game and I'm gonna call it game update. This will be a function which we define in the near future, in our future tutorial. Next let's set uh, we want to set so set the target frame rate and we want to set that to 50 uh, frames per second to do that type thread which we declare up here to be the current thread 
uh, uh, and thread and then put dot sleep and 20 milliseconds so this means uh, 50 frames per second Travel because it's 50 milliseconds to one second there will be 50 of them so and then let's go uh, outside here our catch and type repaint every time basically um, we iterate through the loop we want to repaint the uh, the whole screen basically since the ship will be moving frame by frame uh, in order for us to achieve the illusion of, of the ship basically moving across the screen in, in different locations is by repainting the screen every time uh, we have an update so um, so this was basically uh, this was uh, us defining the run function and we will need this uh, so as soon as the user has started uh, the run here we will start running this and updating um, uh, updating the whatever is displayed the user so and we can do that by the game update which will define the in a future tutorial so for this tutorial we'll just define the um, the run function so thank you for watching guys I hope you found this helpful if you have any concerns or, or basically any questions please leave comments or send me a message and I'll be uh, I will try my best to answer that and help you in any way I can and if you're if you're if you guys haven't watched my other tutorials please go ahead and watch that and uh, please rate the videos it truly means a lot and gives me a lot of feedback in um, in the sense that if you do if you guys do like the videos or not and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already guys please do that it truly means a lot and um, uh, so uh, yeah so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and we'll be back with another tutorial very soon thank you for watching